Welcome back guys, the Earl of Gaming here, back with a new video in this channel and welcome back guys to another episode of Warcraft 3's World Editor Tutorial. I'm going to show you how to change a model in a unit in Warcraft 3's World Editor. So it's pretty simple guys, we need to follow um, simple steps to actually change the model of a Warcraft 3 unit. So first thing you want to do is you're going to go at the top corner here in your Warcraft 3's World Editor. So there's a tab here. So you're going to click on the icon called Object Editor or F you can just click on F6. So you're just going to click the, that icon, that Footman Helmet icon. You need to click it. It's going to load for a while, like 3 to 4 minutes. If your laptop is lagged, it will take upon one minute or something other stuff like that so once you're in your once you click the object editor you're gonna go in this window so in this window you can actually read object editor so this is the object editor so once you've arrived the object editor you can change uh, you can see a lot of units here so there's actually peasant footman right knight this is actually a units that you can see in a game in a melee map so once you're in the object editor, you're gonna go at the bottom here and click on the custom units and then right click on it and click on new custom unit. Once you're in create new custom unit, you're gonna like select a name. So I'm gonna randomly select a name like in Joker. And I'm just gonna click on the Blood Mage Hero. So you're gonna click OK. You can select anything like a unit, a hero, a building, or a water elementals like unit or building, unit heroes or building. Especially when you have what model are specified? Is it a special effect, a model of a um, what do you call this bullet, or other stops? So once you actually arrive, once you created your new hero or your new unit, you're gonna cr you're gonna scroll down here and you're gonna find art dash model file so there's gonna load you the blood mage or the normal model that's in the preset of warcraft 3 you're gonna double click on that it will take it will load and take up to um, one second to actually load it's not that long so once you're done you're gonna go into the edit unit volume you can change the models right over here you can change it into a tower defense you can change it into a centaur you can change anything here with the preset but if you want to import a file, if you want to import a model, you can go here at the top tab here in Walker 3 World Editor again and then click Import Manager right at the top. So once you're in the Import Manager, you can just right click and import a file. So it will, t it will load. So once you're in the Import Manager, you're going to go into the models or the files that where you are your models are so I put them in a simply folder so once you actually imported your file make sure that you actually save your map as soon as possible so I'm just going to make this as a test map so I'm going to like test 4 so now that I actually have saved my map I'm just going back to object editor we're gonna go to the art slash model file and then we're gonna select our imported manager. So right here we have the presets of the normal model of the unit. Now we're gonna go into the import where we imported our model. So as you can see that is the portrait the Hap sees because it actually say seen in the uh, what do you call that like he actually says something or um, he says a dialogue or other stuff like that so you're just gonna click on the other model actually without the portrait name so once you click that it will be presetted here and then you're gonna click OK now once you're done and clicking OK you're gonna go and right click it and select into palette once you've selected it into a palette, you're going to put it in your map besides anywhere you want to put it. So as you can see, my hero is right over here. So look at my hero, it's actually changed into a imported model. So that is the model that I actually imported. So if you want to actually make it a little bit bigger, I will show you in this video right now. So you're going to go into the scaling value. 
so you can make the unit bigger by just adding a 1.10 actually you can make it bigger like that so it actually shows uh, as a bigger hero if you also want the selection circle to actually be, um, be seen as smaller you can go into the selection scale and you're just gonna change the selection scale as a 130 or other than that 120 uh, besides whatever you want so uh, this concludes me as a 120 so that would be a little bit then once you've done that you're gonna save your map again then when you save the map you are you're actually going to load your map and then your model is imported and a lot of people is also uh, is questioning me also that the their model actually appears in a green box if your model is actually appearing in a green box make sure once you import a file in warcraft 3 world editor you actually save the map first so i think that's gonna be it for this video guys i am going to show you the test of this to actually uh, to actually uh, prove to you guys that this works so I will show you in a bit so as you can see guys it worked so uh, let's continue the game well oh, I'm gonna find my hero there is my hero look at that so uh, my hero looks pretty good so it's Krathranis Remar, it's in, in Joker. Um, it looks good, I mean, the, the model, it works. So that is the proof of uh, this tutorial. So it's a proof that you can actually change a model in Warcraft 3. So thank you guys for watching and I hope you love the video and see you in another, in the next one. With you, I'm trying to kick it, kick it, kick it. With you, I wanna kick it.